Hello everyone and welcome to my freelance 101. So you got your website up and running and one morning you just woke up that your site is broken. Now what would you do? So in the next few minutes we will discuss one of the millions of ways on how we can recover a dead WordPress website. Please stay tuned. Okay, so here we are on our test website and right now it is working and it is really a bare website that has the default WordPress installed right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna intentionally break this website using a plugin. So here I am on the uh, WordPress dashboard and I'm gonna go right here on the plugins and I'm gonna activate this uh, plugin that I have built just for this tutorial. So I'm just gonna activate this one. So that is called my broken plugin and it is not broken yet. And what it does is it will display this message right here on the uh, top of the dashboard. Let's break that plugin up. And what I'm gonna do is on my other screen, I'm just gonna do the breaking of that plugin. Okay, so I'm gonna reload this page right here and voila, our website is now broken. Now, there are a millions of ways on how we can break the website. Oh, one probable cause is a broken plugin just like this one or Probably two plugins that are fighting each other. Mm, another way to break your site is probably a WordPress update or a plugin update itself, or probably something else. Just a lot of ways on how you can break your website. And there are also a millions of ways on how we can solve this one. And what I'm gonna show you is probably the simplest way on fixing that WordPress website. Okay, so let's try fixing this one. What I'm gonna do is head over on the cPanel and then logging in. And we're gonna look for file manager right here and we're gonna navigate on the WordPress install. Now, this will be different from your location, but you need to know where your WordPress is. And on my case, that will be on the subdirectory. Okay, here we are on my WordPress install. And the first thing that I need to look for is the error log right here. So I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna right click and then view. Okay. Now looking at this one, it says the latest uh, problem was right here. So it was WP test, WP dash content right here, plugins. And I got this plugins break right here with the error code right there. And it was triggering the WP query. That is why we got this error right here. Now, it is clear to us that the problem was this plugin right here, the break.php. Okay, now lucky for us, WordPress was kind enough to supply this error right here, right within the front end. But, but most of the time, it will just throw a silent error and unfortunately, it was a fatal error as well. So we don't have any idea on what is going on with a page and the only way to check that out is through the error log and now that it, it is clear that the plugin this break plugin was the main culprit of this error we head back on the uh, file manager and we go to the uh, wp dash content and then we go to the plugins and what we need to do is we need to delete this break 
uh, plugin right here. As we can see right here, it is on wp-content, plugins, break, and then break.php. So that will be right here, wp-content, plugins, and then we got this break folder. And if we open this break folder, we got that break.php. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this break folder. Now, before deleting this break folder, if you if the plugin that is causing the error on your end is a premium one and you don't have access to that uh, plugin, then you need to compress that and have a backup of that plugin first before deleting that. But if that plugin was from the WordPress repository, then by all means, you can just go ahead and delete it. So in our case, this is not from the uh, WordPress directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and then I'm going to compress it. So I'm going to call it zip archive and let me just add one right here because I already got that zip file right there. So I'm going to compress that and then close and then I'm going to reload. And as you can see, we got this break one that zip right here. So this is a complete copy of that break folder. Now, the main reason for that is that uh, for us for to have a backup of that plugin. So, I'm going to delete this one right here. Delete that. And then, we're going to head back on our WordPress website and we're just going to reload it. And there we go. Our site is now back up again. Now, uh, the next thing that we need to do is we need to let WordPress know that we have deleted the plugin and to do that we head back on the uh, dashboard of our website and we just need to go to the installed plugin again and it should tell us that the plugin does not exist anymore so we have successfully tell WordPress that we intentionally remove that plugin and WordPress should deactivate that within the database. And that's it. Now, uh, what we can do is look for replacement plugin or probably contacting the plugin developer itself and telling them that, hey, your uh, plugin is dead. Probably you can check that out and try to upload some fix, something like that. Okay, I hope that helps and if you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks and bye-bye.